It's the last boot sale of the season. Let's try that again. Last boot sale of the season. Last half five start of the summer as well. I'm excited about this one. I reckon it could be pretty busy. It's the last major sourcing opportunity at the boot sales before we run up to Christmas. Hi up. Could be a lot of buyers here. I'm hoping that's matched by the sellers. Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, uh, early start, eh? How much are you doing your Xbox for? Uh, 40 quid, mate. So there's no control over here. No control in there? No need to right. clean, to be honest. There you go, yeah. Looks like you're having a good clear out. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like an end of summer holidays clear out. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh. Let's have a look at your Xbox. Yeah, yeah. How um, much are you selling that one for? Like ten pound for all of it. For the um, it all works fine. It's got the sensor, you know, that goes in front of the TV, so you play it on the TV and the games as well. Yeah. 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 Cool. Let's give it a go. The, um... How about this? First find of the day: a box Call of Duty Xbox 360. It's the Modern Warfare 3 edition, so the console itself should be Modern Warfare branded. It should have two controllers with it. If that's all complete in there, that should sell for about 150 quid. Right, in the box we don't have the Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360. We've just got a plain 360 Slim. It's got a 250 gig hard drive in. It's got two controllers. Only one of them is a Modern Warfare controller though. The other is just a plain black one there. And at this stage anyway, it's all about risk management. If the console is completely knackered, well I've just sold one for spares and repairs with a power brick. That's gone for 20 quid. I've also sold a wireless controller for £13.50 and then I sold a wired controller as well recently for 20 quid. So I know that there's value in the parts of it. You're never going to lose money on a tenner. But let's go and test it. So bearing in mind she said it was all working. It all works fine. And I've just gone in, plugged it in, and the power brick's knackered. There's a big red light on the side of it. That's a complete giveaway. Luckily though, I do have a spare power brick. I've plugged this in and this is all working. It reads discs fine. I've formatted all the hard drive. That is ready to go. And both the controllers work as well. That'll sell for 13 50 like the one I've just sold. And this Modern Warfare one, that'll go for a bit higher, about 20 plus post. I've been through the games, they're all fodder games. I think CX will give you 10 pence voucher if you're lucky for most. The only worthwhile one is this one, it's called Nailed. CX will give you three pounds for that. So not the worst deal in the world, but not that 150 quid I was hoping for when I saw that Modern Warfare box. Oh God. How much are you doing your Toy Story figures for, guys? Five pounds each. Five each? Mm -hmm. Look at all the Power Ranger bits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, how, how much for the for the box? Forty quid for the box. We'll do over thirty. Um, I will vote at the minute because quite a few people will come around to look at it, so I'll just wait a little bit longer. Okay. Let's see if it's. Oh, there, that goes with that one. Blue one goes with there. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'll stick it back in a box and I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll um, yeah, pop around in a bit. Oh, the track down here. How much are you selling the trains for? Uh, one pound each. Pound each? Or, or you can buy all together if you with want. the track. Or with the tracks, yeah. Yeah. Um, all the trains and trucks to yeah. Is it alright to just buy the trains? We got so much track. We got loads of track. Is it alright to just buy the trains? Yeah. I don't know what I was doing here. There was 10 trains there and he wanted a pound each. That's obviously 10 pounds. But then it kind of confused me a bit because they said, well, I could have them all for 10 pounds if I took the track. Well, I didn't really want the track, so can I just buy the trains? And they were like, yeah, okay, but can we keep one of the trains because we can't just sell the track on its own? So I actually ended up just buying nine trains for nine quid. Like, overcomplicated. I should have just bought it all for a tenner. But this is on my mind, right? I picked up a big Facebook Marketplace bundle of Trackmaster. 15 quid. That's just the train track. But I got a box of trains with it. I don't want any more of that track. It is a nightmare. How cool are these? 
I've picked up a rad robot before, but look at that sit on Tomy robot there. It's called Armstrong. Hey, bad guys. How much are you doing your PlayStation for? Oh, you got ya. These are going to be so handy. I've got like two ends to the Switch Joy-Cons. These always go missing, right? You never know where you put them. If you wanted 25p each, you got to get them. Hiya. Hiya. How much are you doing uh, Insanity for? It's got all the bits in it. <laughs> You've hadn't used it? Shouldn't be the bits so I should go on. <laughs> we'll do it for a fiver? Me, yeah? And of course there's a disc missing in there. What they've done is she's put the first disc into a DVD player and just left it in there, forgotten about it. It's not in the box. She said that it hadn't been used. It hasn't been used. <laughs> but it's not in the box. How much you send the hog for? Eight. Eight. Yeah, it's cool. Want to do it for five? I do it for seven, mate. That'd be my best. Seven is it? Alright, cool. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Our skates. Check that. I think it's five. How much do we skates for, guys? Two quid. A couple of quid. I was going to say, there's more skates than there is. Oh, is there? Yeah. Look at all them big deaf lodge bar. Might be some saving them, maybe. Might be some... Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll go for those ones. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. He's watching. Gotta get up to that van quick. I've just seen that bloke in the back there. Pull some out, I wanna have a closer look. So we're halfway across the boot sale, Thomas the Tank was just calling to me. I've picked up enough Thomas the Tank stuff now that I can just recognize it. Whether it's the blue border, I don't know. There was something about this that was calling to me. And when I got closer, I saw that Hornby logo there. Electric Thomas the Tank set. All it is is just a loop, Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle. Depending on the track layout, this can vary from 50 to 80 pounds resale value. I think this is one of the lower end ones, but it was only three quid. Three quid, right? And a quick little peek inside. I can see there's a Thomas in there and some track. Let's go her in there. Got home, opened it up. Got some sealed instructions. No track map though. I've got the plug here, but it's missing the power transformer, so I can't actually get this up and running. Thomas is all sun damaged, and the rubber bits on that middle set of wheels are all perished. I'm not sure if that's any good. Tracks all snapped in there. I can clean Annie and Clarabelle up and sell that for a tenner. I'm sure I can part some more of this out. But it's more effort than I was hoping for. I was hoping that would just be a nice complete set. Plug it in, test it, get it gone. It's not that type of day, is it? Ah, but then also, I saw in one of the boxes near to him, this radio control and sound system. Hornby again. There's no plug in there. Look at the colour of it as well. It's no good. That is no good. From the same bloke, though, I found this Nintendo Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Not tested it. Darren. Hiya. Hello. Why is she selling the sky from the Builder Bear Sky? Uh, three pounds that one. Three quid for a Builder Bear Sky. Missing the little tag on a collar. It's got the outfit, got the hat. I sold one of these recently actually. It went over to America, global shipping, went for 20. These battered Puma Kings. I'd love to see it then. I'd love to see it. It's not really too bad actually. <laughs> West. Yeah. Hey guys, you right? Yeah. yeah. How much do you win their boots for? I've had a good, good life in those. Mate, it looks like it. Yeah. They are, they are really good boots. I paid one thirty. It scores some screamers. I just, but I'll do two pounds. Ever cleaned them? 
Have um, we cleaned the window line? <laughs> Too quick, let's do it, man. They better bring some goals. First one, oh, oh, Flash. They, you put them on once, and you're top goal scorer of the season. First move, man. Cheers, boys. Appreciate yeah. you. I've got no problem picking up dirty boots, right? In fact, I do quite like cleaning boots and selling them on that way. Usually I have a quick look over and see if there's any glaringly obvious damage, any rips as the soles coming away. It's looked pretty good. Started cleaning when I got home, didn't I? Because these have been left dirty for so long, a lot of the outer black material is starting to come away. They're rubbish. Yeah, they're rubbish. They're, they're going in the bin. Size large. Hi hey guys. How much do we need Wales? Top four. Uh, six six quid. Cheers. I'm just gonna jump in here quick, right? This is the last time I jump in, right? I've got no problems with not picking up that Wales top. I do find Wales tops can be quite sticky. They hang around for ages, they don't really sell for too much, and for six quid, there's not gonna be enough in it. I did not see that Liverpool shirt underneath. I've just seen that as I've been going through the video. Six quid for that Liverpool shirt, and if it was a size large or XL like the Wales shirt, that would have definitely been a goer. I just didn't see it. <laughs> what I did see on the next store was this official Wales referee shirt. It's brand new, it's got the tags on, size XL. But like, is anyone gonna wanna buy that? Like, if it's only a pound, that's, that's, that's the saving grace with it, but none listed, none sold, I don't, maybe, I don't know, but that Liverpool shirt was like right there, give up. Just wondering how much for your Nerf, Nerf thing, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have said about five pounds because they're about 17 new. Five quid. Ah, cool, look at this. How much you selling your book for? Um, how much you do you offer for this? Yeah. 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 Yeah.